Welcome to Angie's Cozy Corner. On this Thanksgiving episode, I'm going to read a short poem by Mary Mapes Dodge called Pumpkin Pie. So grab your favorite snack, drink, and get cozy. Through sun and shower, the pumpkin grew. When the days were long and the skies were blue, And it felt quite vain when its giant size was such that it carried away the prize at the county fair. When the people came and it wore a ticket and bore a name. Alas, for the pumpkin's pride. One day, a boy and his mother took it away. It was pared and sliced and pounded and stewed. And the way it was treated was hard and rude. It was sprinkled with sugar and seasoned with spice. The boy and his mother pronounced it nice. It was served in a paste. It was baked and browned. And at last on a pantry shelf was found. And on Thursday, John, Mary, and Mabel will see it on Auntie's laden table. For the pumpkin grew neath a summer sky just to turn our Thanksgiving into pie. I think that poem is so fun and adorable. I think it's from the point of view of the pumpkin, so I feel a little bad for it, but I also love pumpkin pie, so it's my favorite, so sorry, pumpkin. I didn't know much about Mary Mapes Dodge before I found this poem, so I looked her up, and I found out that she was a really awesome woman. I am definitely going to look up more of her stories. She led a very popular magazine for 30 years called St. Nicholas, Uh, She convinced very popular writers during that time to write in the children's magazine, and they included Mark Twain, Louisa May Alcott, uh, Tennyson, Longfellow, Kipling. The story that Kipling gave her was The Jungle Book. I just love that she was at the center of so much creativity. And I found out, too, that after her husband passed away, she supported herself and her sons with writing, and before St. Nicholas's Magazine, she uh, was an editor of Hearth and Home. So she just seemed like a strong and determined woman, and I'm really glad that I found this poem. And I will continue to research her other writings and probably have some more of her stuff on Angie's Cozy Corner. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm excited to spend time with my family, eat some great food, and pumpkin pie. Talk to you all again soon on Angie's Cozy Corner.